First of all, we're just going to start off with their fashion on this reunion show. Beginning with Samaya. Samaya looked like a drag queen version of Elvira. She looked like she was about to give a eulogy at a drag queen's funeral. Her makeup was like, I mean, like a mortician did it. And, I mean, her lips, the, the color of her lipstick looked like blood. I mean, she looked the hot mess. As far as Emily, it, I mean, just looking at her, I mean, I would guess that Samaya dressed her. I did not like the wig. I did not like her outfit. And throughout the entire show, it just seemed to me as if she was trying to hold back the tears regarding the, the family situation. As far as Chrissy, Chrissy and that mole they had on, I mean, um, these, these, these pumps. I refuse to call them Louboutins because, I mean, I mean, they look cheap as fuck. I mean, if I was the designer, I would be highly pissed. I would be insulted. I would feel offended. I mean, there's no excuse for you to come up on stage with some beat up ass shoes. I mean, to me, it looked like some damn $2.99 pumps. And as I stated on Twitter, it looked like she went to the Dollar Tree and got some paint spray paint or whatever and painted the bottoms of them. I mean, they were all scuffed up. It just looked raggedy. Now, back to the mold because they brought it up on the show. I mean, she said it started out flat and it just grew. I mean, come on now, Chrissy. You need to establish a birth certificate and a state ID for this damn mold and maybe this mold need to be out working because that's just too, that's ridiculous right there. Um, as far as Olivia and that damn half wig that she had on, I mean, it was a hot mess. It was atrocious. To me, I mean, the wig looked like something that an 18-wheeler hit on a state highway and somebody swept it to the side of the road and maybe she passed by, spotted it, and tried to bring it back to life by dumping a whole bottle or two of Pump It Up spritz on it. Sweetie, Olivia, I understand you're trying to reinvent yourself, but I mean, the, the hard hairstyles is just like way back when when the jerry curls went out i mean that's that's just a ridiculous now we're over that okay now samaya and rich you know who rich is olivia's pimp slash manager okay well they went at it on the show back and forth and it was revealed that he tried to whoop samaya's ass in a club somewhere and samaya filed the police report now, Samaya's on here talking mega shit to Rich, calling him a vagina, um, he, he's a bitch and all this type of mess, and you know, um, Rich got mad, he got up and he walked off the set. Now, personally, I feel like this, if it was between Samaya and Rich, you know, just alone in the room, I seriously believe that Rich would have punched that dude. I, I'm serious. I really believe that Rich would have went in on Samaya. Now, back to Samaya. Samaya was on the stage going back and forth with Chrissy as far as who she is in the world. And, um, you know, Chrissy was talking about her bottom row of her teeth. And Samaya was like, well, if you knew my history, you would know I got beaten at 16 years old. And she was like, you need to do your research. You know my mouth dropped on that one. Because I'm like, okay, let me go to Google on this one. Who is Samaya. I mean, Wikipedia don't even have any information on you. Better yet, I mean, I even looked on Yahoo Answers and that question, who in the fuck is Samaya, is still unanswered. No one knows who Samaya is, okay? I don't even know if Samaya is a girl or a boy. To me, I'm serious as a heart attack. I believe it's a drag queen. I don't know, but hey. But anyways, so... That happened, and then she was talking about she was in L.A. or something like that. She was already a rapper, and she came to New York to uh, establish a sound. So she stayed at Mario's place in his attic, and um, she stayed there for a couple of days or whatever. That's what she said. You know, that's bull. But anyway, so she was saying that she stayed over there for a couple of days, and I'm sitting up there. I'm like, Samaya, if you are a woman, I hope you went to your gynecologist and you got some tests done. I hope you went 
went to your physician and got some labs done because I mean the attic looked roach infested, rat infested, snakes, ants, dust mites, spiders, I mean just a little bit of everything. I mean it just looked unhealthy, it looked unclean, I mean it just was a hot mess. Okay, so like I said, she said she stayed there a couple of days. You know that's a lie. Um, as far as Olivia and Emily, Emily and Olivia was going back and forth, back and forth. Of course, em Emily brought up the fact that Darrell um, was basically not claiming Olivia, you know, during the season. And Olivia's still in denial. She's like, you know, they took some time apart to decide, you know, what, try to figure out what they were going to do with the relationship, something like that she was talking about. And then she brought about the a whole fabulous situation and fabulous this, fabulous that. You know, he was with this girl and with that girl. I don't know who you are. And again, Emily looked like she held back the tears. And um, when Angie asked, you know, Angie was the host. Angie asked Emily, um, are you and fabulous still together? And she was like, um, you know she was dying to say yes, first off. But she was like, um, well, I refuse to claim someone that's not claiming me. So basically, she's still sliving on his knob and she just don't want to admit it because he's not claiming her. So Chrissy was sitting up on the stage talking about how strong of a woman she is and how she wished Emily was just as strong as she is. And I'm like, lies and confusions. Okay, first of all, you have no access to Jim's money. You can't even touch his money. You can't hold his money. You can't even feel his money. You emptied your entire cookie jar on purchasing an engagement ring for somebody that don't even want to be with your ass. Now, Angie asked Jim why he didn't wear his engagement ring to the reunion because he didn't have it on. And so he told her, well, he worked out earlier that day and he don't wear his jewelry when he work out. And I'm like, bullshit, okay? Because you may have been working out in somebody's ass, but, I mean, you didn't wear that engagement ring because... You just don't get down with Chrissy like that because you came on there with what two or three bracelets and a damn watch. I mean, you look pretty iced out to me. So you couldn't go ahead and snatch your engagement ring to wear it on the set just at least to make her feel good about herself because she's sweating the hell out you. Um, but anyways, as far as Chrissy, I hope you're watching this video. And if you are, you need to take a Leo pad and a pencil and take notes. You've been with Jim for what, six years? I've been with my husband for seven years. And we've been married for four years. I know his social security number, his driver's license number, his date of birth. I know his banking account information, his debit card number, his credit card number, policy number, and license plate number. And I've been knowing that stuff before we got married. So he couldn't get shit, and he still can't get shit without me knowing. So you might want to go ahead and write that down. Now, as far as everybody on the set, how they looked, and who looked the best, I would have to say Nancy, which is Jim's mother. That's just how bad everybody else looked to me. Either they looked like a damn dead person, or a cheap hooker, had a fucked up weave, or, you know, had on scuffed up, scuffed up shoes. I mean, just looking a hot mess. That's just my opinion about it. So, guys, that is And until the next video, bye.